Welcome to NBA Now by Chat Sports, all things Lakers. I'm Hannah Kulik, aka Laker Hand. You can follow me on Twitter at Hannah underscore Kulik and on Instagram at Hannah Rose Kulik. Okay, so today we have a little mailbag Q&A. We asked you to send us some questions via Twitter and YouTube, and you guys sent in so many amazing questions. So first of all, Thank you so much for sending in your questions, but there were so many questions that we actually are gonna have three parts of this mailbag Q&A. So part one we are going to do today, and it is going to be talking all about the NBA draft and any trades that could happen leading up to the draft. So let's get into some of these questions. This first one, actually I'm gonna combine these two because they're pretty similar. Um, it is from at Vern Redface and then um, Benny Holmes Sanchez from our YouTube channel. And they both are asking essentially, um, do we trade the fourth overall pick and who do I think the Lakers will draft if they keep their fourth pick? So. I think most likely the Lakers are going to be trading their fourth pick. Um, I just think, you know, the last few years we've had these really high draft picks and we're not really in this rebuilding phase anymore. We have LeBron James, we're in the win now phase. So I think the Lakers most likely are going to trade their pick, if not included in the Anthony Davis trade, maybe for another player like Bradley Beal or CJ McCollum or some other player. Um, I think it's most likely that we are going to trade it, but if we do decide to keep the pick, then I think with number four, we are going to select Darius Garland. He is a point guard out of Vanderbilt. He's an amazing three-point shooter. He only played in a handful of games for Vanderbilt last season, but in those games, he shot 47% from three. I think he's like 52% from the field um, overall, so he's a really talented shooter, and shooting is obviously going to be a priority for the Lakers this season. It is something that extremely hurt us last season, and really just these last few years, we have not had very many talented knockdown shooters, so I think Darius Garland is the guy that we would select with our number fourth pick if we do decide to keep it. But I think most likely that that fourth pick is going to be included in a trade. But I'm curious, do you guys think the Lakers should trade their fourth pick? If you do, type Y for yes or type N for no down below. Okay, let's get on to some more of these questions. Um, okay, a lot of questions, obviously talking about Anthony Davis. So I'm just gonna combine all of these questions. Thank you so much for sending them in. Um, we have one from at Alvin Feebles, Benny Holmes Sanchez again. We have um, Jesse Vinning, Brady Time, at the underscore Nizzy, and Villain Gypsy. Um, and they are all just essentially asking, do I think the Lakers are going to land AD? Should we trade for Anthony Davis? Who would we include in a trade package for Anthony Davis? So just a lot all about Anthony Davis, which obviously is something that you guys are obviously very interested in. So pretty much, obviously, yes, I think the Lakers are going to try to trade for Anthony Davis again. Um, and honestly, if something is going to happen, it could honestly happen in any second because if the Pelicans are going to trade Anthony, which most likely they are, they are going to want to have enough time to work out some of these young guys so that they can use the draft picks and really make sure that they make the best selection for them. So I think if a trade is going to happen, it's going to happen man, within the next week, week and a half, before June 20th, because that is NBA draft day. So I would expect this trade to happen even sooner again so that they can work out these young players and make sure they make the best selection. But in terms of Anthony Davis, I think a trade package that it has been reported to, um, you know, David Griffin came out recently and he said that he wants an all-star, he wants a future all-star, and then he wants some first round top draft picks. So I think most likely, if this Anthony Davis trade is gonna happen for the Lakers, it's going to have to involve a third team. Uh, maybe a team like Chicago or Phoenix could get involved, um, but most likely it's gonna have to involve a third team. And the players that the Lakers are going to include in their trade package, most likely, in my opinion, I think it's gonna be Brandon Ingram. Apparently the Pelicans are really interested in Ingram. He's really essentially the only guy from the Lakers that they're interested in. I don't know if that's true, but that is just the rumor. Uh, Lonzo Ball. And then I think obviously their fourth pick and then maybe Josh Hart could be thrown in there as well. Um, 
And I think that's fair for a guy like Anthony Davis. Obviously, you know, I'm a little bit partial to the young core. I want to see these guys be able to play and be the stars that I know they can be. But at the end of the day, if you are going to be able to get a player like Anthony Davis, it's going to come at a cost. And I think Brandon Ingram, Lonzo Ball, our fourth pick, and then maybe even Josh Hart, totally fine to do that. Now, in terms of the Lakers' biggest competition, I'm trying to get Anthony Davis. It's Right now, it's the Boston Celtics, who have always been in the mix with this AD sweet mistakes and then it is the New York Knicks. I don't think the Brooklyn Nets are in it anymore. Um, they recently just made a trade with the Atlanta Hawks. They're clearing a bunch of cap space to try to go get Kyrie Irving. Kyrie's their guy. He's their main focus right now. So it's the Boston Celtics, who honestly I don't really think makes a whole lot of sense because Kyrie's going to be leaving in free agency. And then if you're Boston, you're essentially trading your entire roster over to the Pelicans and you're really having nothing. So I don't really think that's going to make a whole lot of sense. So really, I think the New York Knicks are the Lakers biggest competition um but at the end of the day you never know honestly I don't think anyone really expected that the Toronto Raptors were going to end up trading for Kawhi Leonard last summer and look where they are now so really anything can happen but I think if you really look at the Lakers trade package if you look at Brandon Ingram Alonzo Ball fourth pick and then even Josh Hart I mean I think the Lakers have an advantage and have the best trade package that they could you know out of any other team in terms of trading for Anthony Davis so at the end of the day it's going to be interesting to see if the Pelicans can really turn down that offer because I think it's going to be the best offer they're going to get. Okay now before we get into some more of these questions I want to take a quick second to remind you all to follow chat sports here on YouTube. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and also don't forget to subscribe to the new Lakers Chat Sports YouTube channel. It's obviously going to be a very exciting offseason for the Lakers. Honestly, anything can happen at any second, so make sure that you are subscribed both to Chat Sports here on YouTube and to the new Lakers Chat Sports YouTube channel as well so that you don't miss a single second of it. But moving on to some more of these questions, let's get into them. This one is from at Causeway98 and he asks, who should the Lakers draft if the AD trade isn't done by draft night? So again, I'm just going to say, um, I already answered this, but Darius Garland, he's a great shooter. Shooting is something that the Lakers desperately need, and I think that they've learned their lesson. I think they know that in order to move on, in order to be a successful team now in the NBA, you have to be able to knock down your shots, especially from three-point range. So Darius Garland, I think, is their guy. I also do want to mention about... Darius Garland is that he is also represented by Clutch Sports, which as we all know is LeBron James's agent. And apparently, you know, he has been promised by someone in the league, that's kind of the rumor that he is going to be drafted by them. Apparently it's the Lakers. I don't, I mean, I don't really read too much into these rumors, but it is interesting because he has not worked out for any team yet. So that's kind of something that's interesting. Um, so I think Darius Garland's going to be the guy that we get. But obviously, you know, someone could say, you know, DeAndre Hunter, um, he's a great player. Um, Jarrett Culver, he's another really talented two-way player. But at the end of the day, I think they're going to go for Garland because they're going to need some, some serious three-point shooting moving forward. Okay, this next question is from at Kai Miguel underscore 21. And he asks, what is your tr Anthony Davis trade proposal? So my Anthony Davis trade proposal would be what I think the Lakers are going to offer. Brandon Ingram, Lonzo Ball, the fourth pick, and then maybe Josh Hart. And like I said, you know, I am very biased. I love our young core. I don't necessarily want to trade them unless it is for a superstar. But I know that getting a guy like Anthony Davis, you're going to have to make it worth the Pelicans' while. And I'm totally fine with making that trade as long as we are able to keep one of either Kyle Kuzma, Brandon Ingram, or and Lonzo Ball. And I think that it is going to be Kyle Kuzma, and I'm kind of hoping that it's Kyle Kuzma uh, that the Lakers decide to keep. So my trade package for Anthony Davis, Ingram, Lonzo, fourth pick, and then maybe Josh Hart. And I think that's a pretty darn good trade package, and I'd like to see any other team even come close to matching that, really. Ryan M. Spencer won. He asked, besides the lottery pick, what are some players that the Lakers can pursue? Okay, besides trading for Anthony Davis. So... I'm assuming that you mean like besides trading for Anthony Davis, just what other players can we trade for using our pick? So I think that another player, again, I don't really just want to be trading players just to trade them. I want to be trading for a star or for a guy who can really, you know, fit well with this team, really make a big difference, really fit some of our weaknesses. So I think a player that the Lakers may also be interested in that's been rumored that the Lakers are interested in possibly trading for is Bradley Beal. Um, he would be a great fit to 
this Lakers team. He's a great shooter, a great three-point shooter in particular. He's young. He's only 25. He's just entering his prime. And I think he is a guy that would fit in perfectly. He's a shooting guard. He's exactly what the Lakers need. So Bradley Beal's another great option. Um, another option could possibly be even CJ McCollum. Um, from Portland and a lot of people would say why CJ McCollum from Portland why would they trade him but I mean at the end of the day Portland had a really nice run this season and CJ McCollum was a big reason for that he played really well especially in the playoffs but they're never going to be you know a championship contending team they're never going to be a top landing spot for free agents so they may be willing to possibly part with CJ if they pick up some nice talented young pieces so he would be another great fit you know for the Lakers great shooter great three-point shooter another shooting guard which is exactly what the Lakers need that's the position that they really need to fill desperately so I think Bradley Beal and CJ McCollum are two guys that the Lakers may have their eye on but I think you know for the most part if we don't trade for Anthony Davis we're going to be really focusing on free agency this question is from at will 04730053 oh I kind of need my glasses on for that one that was a a turkey one. Um, he asked, should the Lakers call Atlanta and offer their number fourth pick for picks eight and ten, which means the Hawks would then have four and seven and 17. Um, I don't think the Lakers have any intention of doing that. Um, I think if they did, we would have seen them be working out many more, you know, young guys, and they've only worked out Jarrett Culver, I believe. So I don't think the Lakers have any intention of doing that. I don't really think it makes sense for them in their future. I don't really think they are, you know, looking for this draft in that rebuilding phase that they have the last few years. I think they're looking for it mainly as a good trade package, a good acquisition. Um, and then if they do end up getting a talented player out of it great but I don't think they're going to be trading their fourth pick um for you know picks eight and ten I just don't think that makes any sense right now and what the Lakers plan is for their future okay before we finish up answering these last few questions for part one of our mailbag Q&A today I want to take a second to remind you guys to follow me on Twitter and Instagram it's going to be a very exciting summer for Laker fans so whether or not you just want to keep up with all things Lakers this summer or if you're looking to get in shape this summer I also love to post workout videos and fitness tips on my Instagram as well. So make sure to give me a follow on Twitter at Hannah underscore Kulik and on Instagram at Hannah Rose Kulik. Let's get into some more of these questions. This next question is from Austin Baker and he asks, will Kuzma be traded before next season starts or will it be Lonzo? Okay, so... This is something that a lot of people ask me. Why would it not be Kyle Kuzma? Why would the Lakers not be trying to trade Kyle Kuzma before Brandon Ingram? And I'm not necessarily sure if that's what the Lakers' plan is, but I think, you know, the Lakers really like Kyle Kuzma. And I personally love Kyle Kuzma. I'm a huge Kyle Kuzma fan. I've been a huge Kuzma fan since day one, so I really would like the Lakers to keep Kuz. Um, but if you look at it this way, I mean... They picked Kyle Kuzma over Alonzo Ball and Brandon Ingram to represent them in the NBA draft lottery, and that's pretty amazing. I mean, Kyle Kuzma is a guy that just represents the franchise so well. He just had dinner with Jeannie Buss and Linda Rambis. Um, you know, he's always just out there, you know, representing the Lakers in a positive way, and he really is truly just such a great guy. And I don't know, it just really feels like the Lakers really go through him a lot and they really kind of push him in terms of press, in terms of media and publicity and stuff. So I think Kyle Kuzma is going to be a Laker in the future. I think he's the one guy who I think they're going to try to keep the most, which I really hope they do. Um, in terms of Alonzo... I think Lonzo's definitely probably going to be traded. Um, there are a lot of rumors, a lot of teams that have a big interest in him, so we may be able to trade him even if we don't include him. Let's just say like how one of the questions was previously asking who we could possibly trade for if we don't trade for Anthony Davis. You know, I think a lot of teams are interested in Lonzo Ball and we could probably get something really nice in return for him. So I think Lonzo would be most likely to be traded out of Kuz and Lonzo, but I'm curious to what you guys think. If you think Kyle Kuzma is going to be traded, type K below, or if you think Lonzo Ball is most likely to be traded, type L down below. This question is from at Laker Tech and he asked, um, why do the Lakers insist on pursuing trade for high caliber players when it is evidence teams don't want to allow for the Lakers to rise to greatness again? Example, Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, AD. Um, I don't really think this is necessarily true. Obviously, teams don't want to do the Lakers any favors, but at the end of the day, if they are going to be trading their star player or trading their player, 
they want to try to get the best package they can possibly receive and if the Lakers offer that they're not going to turn it down so yes of course you know we have had some bad luck in the past with Paul George and Kawhi Leonard and Anthony Davis this past season although that may change in the next week or so we never know but I think at the end of the day I mean the teams are really doing it the smart way. You want to try to get the best in return for your player. So if the Lakers are offering you the best package, I think they're still going to take it regardless. But obviously, as we all know, people don't want to do the Lakers any favors. But they obviously aren't stupid and they want to do what's best for their team in the long run. So I don't really think that that question is necessarily true. I just think we've had some bad luck this last couple of years. But hopefully in the next week or so, that luck will be turned upside down and positive things will start to happen for us. At underscore Ingram85 underscore wants to know, trade Ingram or not trade? Um, in a perfect world, I don't want to have to trade Brandon Ingram, but again, if it's for a player like Anthony Davis, um, maybe even Bradley Beal, possibly even CJ McCollum, or a player that would just really fit in with everything the Lakers need and with our you know, plan going forward, a great shooter, a difference maker, a star player, then I am willing to do it, but I don't just want to trade him just to trade him. Um, I obviously think Brandon Ingram's an extremely talented player. Right before his you know, injury last season when he was shut down for the season, he was playing arguably the best in his career, and he is still so young. He has so much potential. So I do want to obviously keep Brandon Ingram if we can, but unfortunately I do also think that he is the player that all of these teams are most interested in. So if we are going to be trading for a star, really trading for a big time player, I think Brandon Ingram is going to have to be included in that trade package. And I'm okay with it as long as, like I said, it is for a difference maker, a really strong, talented star player, um, then I'm fine with it. But I don't just want to, you know, trade Brandon Ingram just to trade him because I think he is going to be a star. At the Goose 93 oh my horse's name is Goose, so I like your, your Twitter username. Um, he asked, if you could keep one of Brandon Ingram, Alonzo Ball, or Kuzma in the Davis deal, who would you want to hold on to? So I'm going to say Kyle Kuzma, uh, most likely just A, because I think it's the most realistic one that we keep, and B, because he's my favorite player, don't come at me about it, I love Kyle Kuzma, half from day one like I said, but see, you know, I think if you look at it, he really played the best with LeBron James. Him and LeBron James had some great on-court chemistry, and Brandon Ingram and, and LeBron were fine, and Lonzo and, and uh, LeBron kind of struggled a little bit. But at the end of the day, I think Kuz and LeBron have the best chemistry moving forward. And like I said, you know, Kuz is such a great representative of the Lakers and such a great, charismatic, classy, respectful guy who's really just worked so hard to get to where he is and I think it would be pretty strange to see you know the Lakers put him as the guy to represent them in the draft lottery it would just seem kind of strange that he would do all these things you know be the face of the Lakers at the moment right now it seems like and then be traded so I think Kyle Kuzma is a player that the Lakers are going to keep between their young core, between Ingram, Lonzo, and then Kuz. I think Kuz is the guy to stay, but at the end of the day, you just never know. And if a team asks for him and the team wants him, I think he's for sure gone. Um, also, I just think when you look at those players, I think teams are mainly going to be asking for Ingram and Lonzo. I think those are the two guys that they're going to want the most, the guys that they think have the most potential to be stars. I don't necessarily agree with that. I think Kyle Kuzma is a very talented player, and I think we've seen, obviously, so far that he really does have the potential to be a star um, but I think players are going to mainly be asking for Ingram and Zoe so Kuz is most likely going to be the player that will probably be in a purple and gold uniform next season and for the foreseeable future. Question from Jonathan Odom asks should the Lakers draft DeAndre Hunter? So I don't personally think that it would be the best fit for them. Um, not that DeAndre Hunter is a bad player. I mean, I honestly don't know that much about him. I know he's a very nice and very good two-way player, but I think that the Lakers really do need to prioritize shooting. So if they are going to use their draft pick, select at number four, I think they have to go for a guy like Darius Garland just because it's really hard to pass up a guy who shot 47% from three-point range, especially when one of your biggest weaknesses has always been three-point shooting and shooting in general. I think you have to just prioritize shooting. But again, I mean, I do trust the Lakers, and if they pick DeAndre Hunter, it's clearly because they saw something really special in him. And again, he is a very talented two-way player, but in my opinion, I just think that the Lakers should go for more shooting and probably just draft Darius Garland if they do keep their pick.
And then our last question for part one of this Q&A is from Mo Fitzgerald, and he asked, do you think they will eventually draw someone or trade the pick to get a star player? So I think they are most likely going to be trading this pick. I think that, I mean, if I had to guess, I would say about 80 to 85 percent they're going to be trading this pick, and they're definitely 100% going to be trying to trade this pick. The other 15, 20% of that where I'm saying they keep it is just purely because they may not be able to make a trade happen, but I think most likely this trade is, or this pick is gone. It's gonna be used in a trade to get Anthony Davis or possibly maybe even Bradley Beal or CJ McCollum. But I mean, at the end of the day, you never know. And if we do select a guy at number four, I'm sure we are going to select a great, very talented player. So I would be fine either way. I just think that the Lakers' plan for their future is just to be able to have guys that are more developed and ready to help the team win now because we have to start winning some games, you guys. I absolutely cannot have another season where the Lakers miss the playoffs. But, but that is going to be it for part one of the Lakers mailbag Q&A here on Chat Sports. Thank you guys so much again for sending in so many amazing questions. Stay tuned for part two because we are just getting started. Part two is going to be talking all about free agency and I know you guys had a lot of questions about that so make sure you stay tuned for part two which will be coming out very shortly as well. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Chat Sports on YouTube. Also subscribe to the new Chat Sports Lakers YouTube channel. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, all that fun stuff and until next time, Laker Hand is out. Bye guys.